uh, good morning to all of you uh, we are learning something different today okay uh, you have missed lot of practical classes let us see what you are going to learn today what is this very clear cut histology of skin what are the structures that you can make out this is the epidermis and the dermis so what is it that you are able to find out identify in the dermis this is a hair follicle hair follicle in different stage stages this is pilosebaceous unit okay. so this is the dermal collagen and the epidermis and very scant uh, keratin fine this is a close up view of the epidermis you can appreciate the keratin and just look at these layers because uh, the slide which we are going to teach you a part of it you are going to draw a diagram of epidermis the basal cells which have pigment above that these are the spinous layer of cells we call them as prickle cells see how the spines are there in between the epidermal cells we call them as desmosomes that's one of the marker for epithelial cells also we can identify them on electron microscopy then these are the granular cells in the granular layer and then the keratin a nucleate cells so the slide you're going to learn today is basal cell carcinoma what color did you see the previous slide and this blue right so blue is the color code for this slide the entire uh, slide if you just look at the microscopy of basal cell carcinoma it appears bluish so keep this color in mind the objectives of today's session are i'm just going to tell you about origin of basal cell carcinoma then what are the sites where basal cell carcinoma occurs and what is the gross appearance how does it appear grossly that is macroscopically and these two you are going to learn quite uh, in detail when you are posted to uh, surgical wards then microscopic features or the histopathology of basal cell carcinoma so one important thing we have told you about basal cell carcinoma is it's a locally malignant tumor it is locally invasive so it's a malignant tumor it's not a benign tumor first point it's malignant tumor so what you have learnt about malignant tumors is that they metastatize but the peculiarity here is it does not metastatize to different organs it is locally invasive locally malignant who are the people who are affected usually middle aged and uh, it's a slowly growing tumor very rarely it metastatizes so take it off from your uh, mind uh, at present as undergraduates yes so when we talk about locally malignant tumors what are the other tumors you know of so another tumor which affects jaws amyloblastoma then another tumor which looks like squamous cell carcinoma is a verrucous carcinoma so three tumors which are locally malignant basal cell carcinoma amyloblastoma verrucous carcinoma so these tumors basal cell carcinomas occur exclusively on hairy skin so remember most of them occur on the face 90% and where on the face it's above a line joining what is this the angle of the mouth to the lobule of the ear so just draw a line here and these tumors occur most commonly above this line so origin is from the basal cells of pilosebaceous unit we say otherwise folliculosebaceous apocrine germ cells also known as from the trichoblast they appear from Uh, take origin from the trichoblast okay there are a lot of pictures here now you have the knowledge 
I've told you something about basal cell carcinoma. And what do these pictures depict? Just think over. Okay, look at the sites of occurrence of this tumor. Lobule, beneath the lower lid, this is on the nose, the yellow of the nose. This we cannot make out the site, of course it's on the face. This is above the upper lip angle of the mouth. This is again nose, the left lateral. This is eye, just below the angle of the eye or slightly lateral, not too much towards the temporal. This looks like the temporal area and this is again eyebrow, the lateral part of the eyebrow. All these pictures will tell you that this is seen above the line joining the angle of the mouth to the lobule of the ear. Another feature you can observe which I have not told you, how do these tumors appear? What is their gross appearance? We will deal with it, with it later but you can, you can just see these two are totally different from the rest of them. All these appear as nodules whereas this is nodulo ulcerative, this is also nodulo ulcerative. These two have shown very nicely ulcers on their surface, clear? Now, so the morphology, gross appearance. So usually they are nodular, most of them are nodular. The nodule may ulcerate, then we call it as nodulo ulcerative pattern, that is the most common. Otherwise, sometimes it can present as solely as an ulcer or solely as a nodule which may ulcerate later. So if it ulcerates, then what are the features that you expect to see? You have learnt about how a malignant ulcer appears you know, with a rolled out averted margins. See, this is what I was telling you, the common site for rodent ulcer. This picture is very clear and most frequently seen in white skinned people. It is called as rodent ulcer. This is very interesting now. This is a 3 marker uh, frequently asked in the examination. Uh, they just say rodent ulcer. What are you going to write? You need to say what is it? Origin. So what type of tumor it is? gross micro that is it with a beautiful microscopic uh, picture or diagram written. So because it is called as rodent also you know what are rodents. So it enlarges in size by burrowing and destroying tissues locally just like the rodents. So imagine one or two rats in your house how much destruction they cause. So similarly the basal cell has destroying effect. It burrows into the deeper tissues. So I have just taken two pictures to make you remember, have this picture in your mind. A picture is worth thousand words we see. So gradually they ignore away the skin. That is what a rodent does. Yes. Sometimes you know, it is also referred to as a gimlet or gimlet also because you know this instrument which a carpenter uses to drill small holes mainly in the wood. So this tumor also drills and infiltrates deeper into that site. That is why it is also compared to or compared to a gimlet or it is called as gimlet also. Hmm. So this is a lesion here in the hair bearing skin, nodule on the ill of the nose, this is not very clear but looks like a slightly elevated uh, spreading lesion, this is nodule ulcerated. Then what is a microscopic appearance? See again I have used blue here, so blue is the color for this basal cell carcinoma. Most characteristic feature here is proliferation of the basaloid cells. I showed you first histopathology of the epidermis, the basal cells, how were they? They were elongated, columnar, bluish in color. 
so the tumor cells also appear similar to that and how are the tumor cells present that's important how do they appear how do the tumor cells appear that's important and how are the tumor cells present so they see the solid masses so when all the cells are together solid mass i'll show you the microscopic pictures masses of pigmented lot of pigment could be there within these uh, masses of cells what pigment is it melanin then strands of cells and uh, small groups of cells most common pattern is a solid basal cell carcinoma where the tumor cells are all in solidness okay no cystic areas or no other things in between in the dermis when we look at the dermis dermis also contains irregular masses of basaloid cells clearly having that peripheral palisaded cells so if they present the dermis what does it indicate to us In infiltrating infiltrating sorry okay here is a picture that you need to see and appreciate epidermis yes fine then solid nest this is what is called a solid nest what is other feature you have learned? here you can see that there is continuity with the basal cells of the epidermis this is where it is arising from and look at the peripheral cells how are they they are all very nicely arranged you know parallel to each other look at these peripheral cells this is peripheral palisade there's a small nest this is nest a tiny cluster which has got detached from the group and it is lying freely within the dermis yeah, this picture is not clear uh, it's okay so these are the basal cells and i just want you to appreciate something here these are small you know nests of cells but what do you see around the nest whitish area clear area that is a retraction of the stroma it is an artifact of these uh, tissues which are fixed in formalin this contraction of retraction of the dermal stroma now this is a better picture so i just want you to appreciate the peripheral palisading here see how the cells are arranged and what is the arrangement solid ness and here we are not able to appreciate much of retraction of the stroma again yes i was telling you another feature sometimes there could be pigment can you make out there's lot of melanin pigment here brownish black so if it is hemocytin it would be yellowish golden yellow we say this is brownish black so solid nest of cells 1 2 3 4 and this is not uh, properly seen yes hmm. very nice picture look at the epidermis solid nest of tumor cells and retraction of the stroma around what else what is the color of all the tumor cells you been seeing this tumor so blue is dominating here they are all bluish yes look at these cells at the periphery they are all palisading and this is the stroma what is the stroma here because it's dermis dermal collagen collagenized stroma what do we see in the stroma here can you make out nice small blue dots that's a lymphocytic infiltration very characteristically seen now we have brought back the picture which you saw earlier this is just for comparison what are these compared to they compared to picket fence appearance see the fence the gate which we use for garden or wherever so the cells which are lying parallel to each other this is a simile that is used to refer to their arrangement remember this picket fence
okay now the fibrotic we are looking at the stroma again the fibrotic stroma and peculiar shape, aggregation of basaloid cells so here you can see there are cords of cells small aggregates okay here the cleft a high power which is showing a cleft that is the artifact which we saw around the nest of cells and this is edematostroma beneath so look at these cells all the cells are appearing bluish there is peripheral palisading and look at the nuclei and see this is a cell in mitosis this is a cell in mitosis some cells which have a dark nucleus are all in mitosis otherwise the cells have a vesicular nucleus and prominent nucleolus that's a characteristic feature of all the epithelial cells this is not very clear but just look at what type of lesion you tell me this is the epidermis from the epidermis you can see an elevation it's a nodular tumor very clear bluish tumor solidness of cells okay starting from the upper dermis to mid dermis and even deeper dermis this is again very typical showing lymphocytes in the stroma which is separating the nests of cells so small nests large group solid nests some are appearing like budding some of these groups are showing budding and that's how this uh, buds get uh, dislodged and then uh, they move towards the stroma see budding it gets detached it moves to the stroma then grows several times i have told you i am repeating this cleft like space space clear space around the so let us learn about the microscopy of uh, basal cell carcinoma this is what we are talking about Thank you. 
mouth to the trachea sacroiliac of the lip. So now the tumor proper, I just left this here so we can show humor cells and just leave it here so that we show some inflammatory cells and granulation tissue and all this as an ulcerated area. So now the cells are all in solid. Nest. So let me take the outline of the solid nest here. Write the peripheral cells first. 
The diagrams which I have shown you, the photographs are very, very classical. So right, this elongated picket fence, a parallel size, then fill the central area with disilloid cells, then disilloid cells. Then the nucleus, it's not at all uniform. There are varying sizes and uh, shape. Look at these nuclei. And a lot of mitosis. So two solid nests we have uh, written here with the stroma that is retracted. Yeah. Uh -huh. 